Hello, in this video we're going to discuss a recent research paper. It looks at whether your personality predicts your economic beliefs. Are you a natural capitalist or socialist? So someone with internal locus of control might be someone like Thomas Sowell. Someone with an external locus of control could be Vladimir Lenin. So a fascinating new study has uncovered a strong link between personality traits and economic beliefs. The key finding, your view on whether you control your own destiny, known as locus of control, strongly predicts whether you'll favor capitalism or government intervention. The source, so the title of the article I'll be reviewing, uh, the authors, and the journal that the article was published in. I'll put a link in the description. The study's purpose and methods. The purpose, the main aim of this research is an investigation of attitudes towards the economic system and social issues. It was assumed that these attitudes depend on personality traits, locus of control being one of them. The study group consisted of 371 students. So this was a survey. What's your locus of control? Let's define internal locus of control. A person with an internal locus of control assumes greater responsibility for the events in their life, explaining them through their behavior, character, or abilities. They feel accountable for their successes and failures. External locus of control. A person attributes responsibility for events to the surrounding environment, fate, or chance. Other people are considered the causes of their failures and successes. This essentially reveals a deficit in personal responsibility. The findings. People who support capitalism have internal locus of control. People with higher indicators of internal locus of control perceive the role of the state as promoting the interests of private business, favor meritocratic resolutions, thus differentiating income based on qualifications and productivity. So these individuals would reject equal pay for differences in performance. They view unemployment as an attribute of the market economy, accept the free market in the employment sphere, and recognize that obtaining work is an individual responsibility for each citizen. They admire business people, and view a strong economy as a panacea for common crime and economic scandals. People who support government intervention and its caregiving role have an external locus of control. People with higher indicators of external locus of control believe that the state must fulfill a caregiving function towards its citizens, that is to protect less well-off families, they are proponents of egalitarianism, thus maintaining that excessive wealth differentiation should not be allowed. They also point out the negative consequences of unemployment and the state's duty to ensure employment for citizens. They are suspicious of business people and consider common crime and economic scandals in their country as a consequence of the introduction of a capitalist system. Okay, that's my review.